What is up guys and welcome back to another video on our channel. It's the time of year now where there's going to be more and more and more transfer rumours coming in and that's what we've got today. We've, uh, it's been rumoured that uh, Josh Labadee, who's now a free agent, is linked to join Swindon. So yeah, if you do enjoy what you're watching today, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get straight into the video. So yes, in today's video I am going to talk about uh, Josh Labadee who is linked with uh, Swindon at the moment and we're also going to talk about the retain list. I haven't done a video um, talking about that yet so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Starting with Josh uh, Labadee, he um, was at Warsaw uh, this season, he only managed to play five games I'm pretty sure and now he is linked with Swindon. In my opinion I don't think this would be an ideal sign. I reckon it will be a player, that, if he does sign I reckon it will be a player like Reese Devine like get barely any game time because he's getting injured all the time but yeah at the age of 32 he has got a bit of experience in him so i can't moan there but i just don't think he's going to be the right player for us williams won't be playing uh with us next season so yeah it's looking to be a replacement for johnny williams which is which is going to be devastating because no one's going to be as good as what johnny williams was the only similarity between labrady and johnny williams is that they tend to get injured loads of t uh, uh, a lot of times but then I do look at um, Josh Labadee's stats, and it's not convinced me at all. His last three seasons has only managed to get four goals and one assist. It's not convincing me at all, especially if we want to get up to um, League One. He's not going to be the right player. But Obviously, you're not going to be able to guarantee it, but it's, it, judging by the stats, it's, it's not looking likely that he is going to do well. It's probably going to be one of them signings that uh, is just because the manager wants them there. Like, uh, what was it, Jody Morris? He signed jo uh, George McEachran because he used to manage him uh, back at Chelsea. Now, it's going to be another one, like with Michael Flynn signing uh, Labadee because he used to manage him. So, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be one of them type of signings. I know this ain't got to do much about uh, Labadee anyway, but the amount of free agents that uh, are on the list right now for uh, the next season is absolutely ridiculous. Like, Romney Critchlow, he's an example of an absolute amazing player who's done really well this season and is now a free agent. He was at Bradford on loan, I'm pretty sure. Gone to Huddersfield, uh, back to his parent club, club, and they've released him. There's so many other, uh, so many other players that I can name as well who are uh, free agents. Uh, what was it? Danny Johnson as well. We're linked with him. Uh, he's also a Walsall player. He played alongside uh, Labadee. There's so many good players who are free agents now. If Swindon sign, uh, sign some of them, we're easily going to go to League One. We just need to find the right players who are actually going to get us up. Some of the free agents we, we need to really do consider, and I don't think Labadee is going to be one of them. But that's based on my own opinion anyway, so. But that's all the stuff I want to talk about uh, for Josh Labadee. I now want to talk about the retain list. Johnny Williams, the main player who will be leaving Swindon at the end of the season. In my opinion, he, he was going to leave any uh, sometime uh, soon. He's been linked with Hibs and, um, what was it, Wrexham. Who's not want to go to Re uh, want to go to Wrexham? He's not going to reject Wrexham to stay at Swindon. So, yeah, pretty much expecting Morgan Roberts. He's also set to leave. Uh, well, he's also leaving as well. Morgan Roberts. He's also leaving uh, this season as well. I I don't think he's made as much of an impact. We only we signed him from Br Banbury United, so I don't think um we should have expected much out of him there. Mohamed Darbre. He had a bit of a potential, but. Not that much potential that he's going to be as, as do well at Swindon. Harry Parsons is also going after a nine-year stay at Swindon. And one more player that I do want to talk about for um, the players who will be leaving this season, Kian Aries. He's also leaving this season. I, I'm I'm happy with um, him leaving. Yeah, it's made of much as much as an impact either. He came from Bristol Rovers, so I was expecting him to be a bit dodgy, uh, but uh, yeah, not done as well. So I'm not really gutted if he's leaving or not. Matteo Borgia as well. Frenchy, he has retired after 17 years uh, playing football. And the final player is Tom Brewett. He's not left yet. He has been offered a contract, um, when, but uh, his contract expires on the 30th of June. Except that he stays at Swindon if, we, if he rejects it. And um, his contract runs up on the 30th. He's gone, uh, in my opinion. I do think Tom Burrett should say he's done all right this season and um, all he needs now is just a bit of training and to uh, have more time with the players and he'll do amazing next season. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read out all the players because there is loads, but um, on the screen right now is all the list of players who are confirmed to stay next season unless they do move to another club. 
But um, the players like Kaji, Sol Brin, Joe Tomlinson are all going back to their parent clubs. So guys, that is the end of another video. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the uh, rumour of Swindon signing Josh Labadee. In my opinion, I don't think he will make as much of an impact as what Jolly Williams used to. Because obviously, Jolly Williams is no longer at Swindon. And that kind of replacement is not going to go well. So um, yeah, my opinion, I don't think Josh Labadee is going to do well. But uh, yeah, that's the end of another video. If you did enjoy this one, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I want to try and reach... Uh, what is it, a thousand subscribers for, for the end of 2023, and we're on the road to do that, and hopefully we can um, uh, reach my goal, uh, so yeah, anyway, have a great rest of your day, not to do.